Today begins a new series and a new journey as Shopify Rebellion's Valorant squad heads into GC2. They have an obvious aim of qualifying for the World Championship in Brazil later this year. But this week, their focus is solely on becoming the best North American GC Valorant team in this series. This is our rebellion. Several hurdles appear right off the bat, as almost everyone experiences flight delays into Toronto, creating challenges to an already tight bootcamp schedule. My flight got delayed and then I got canceled and then it put me on an 8 a.m. flight the next morning. So that was definitely like annoying and frustrating. But then not only that, but KP got admitted to the hospital. We thought it was just food poisoning, but then when we got to the hotel later that night, she woke me up while I, w I had just fallen asleep and she was like freaking out, panicking. She's like, something's wrong, I can't stop shaking. And at that point she basically had like a fever and chills, which is not really consistent with like food poisoning. So we thought it was something more serious. So we ended up calling an ambulance and they took her to the hospital. They were taking forever to like run the tests, get the results and everything. It was crazy. Her unexpected illness at the start of boot camp piles onto the team's already low morale. I think she really just wants to get out of there and come here and play. But I mean, I feel like this boot camp's already like so scuffed for us because, like, I know Rob was feeling sick and I wasn't feeling like the best because we both had to basically pull all nighters to like take care of KP and watch her, make sure she was okay. The show must go on though, and there's a lot of work to do especially for Rebellion's newest addition, Sibui, who is meeting most of the team for the first time in person this week. The, the team was really welcoming, really um, compatible. I didn't get to see Diana, KP, I really, like I had a quick exchange, you know, we hugged each other, she went up because she was really sick. Kayla was so tired as well. I got to hang out with Lori for the whole night, so I think that was like a, a, a pro, <laughs> since everything else was like pretty scuffed. I really do look forward to seeing what we can bring to the table because I think we have worked and although um, the team environment is new with the addition, um, I hope that we're able to make up for lost time. It's day two without their IGL. And after scrims, the team sits down to talk strategy and best case scenarios in case KP has to remain in the hospital. Yeah. Just start talking about literally anything. It could be like the most unimportant thing, but yeah. talk it's... about anything towards like wherever your default is. I know something we did in Berlin and something I would love to see kind of happen again is team meals or just walks. Or ultimately, like the team that wins is the team that comes together the best. They come up with a game plan. They'll have lunch as a team together before game day tomorrow. And everyone vows to be more vocal in the server with their IGL out of commission. Yo, KP got discharge papers. Really? Good. Yeah, I actually gonna have five people. <laughs> uh, KP got her discharge papers. Yeah, other parties? Oh, yeah, actually gonna be five people. You oh, know, like. Okay. So. We thought this weekend we were gonna be coming in and uh, first day landing at night, Sunday morning waking up, filming some content, setting up at the computers, getting warm, uh, playing some ranked games with each other. But um, shit kind of hit the fan and yeah, I had a bowel obstruction and a Crohn's disease flare up. And basically what happened over the course of the two and a half days is they made sure the blockage cleared in my small intestine. It was torture. It was just a, a lot of pain. I had this uh, tube down my throat with no painkiller and no numbing cream. KP won't let herself stay down long though. The team's IGL has seen it all. The evolution of the Game Changers Valorant scene, the talent and skill level that's rising, and she was instrumental in Rebellion's second place finish at last year's World Championship. I mean, the team the team was looking good. Like people were stepping up big time, like in without me, um, which was nice to see, but it still sucks just not being there, especially when this is everything we work for, you know? I'm still not at 100% strength at all. I'm gonna just keep my talking kind of to the pre-round and 
anything that I feel very strongly about in the mid round. As we seem to always do, we have recovered in time for the main event uh, for, for Game Changers, so there's, there's no worries going in this tournament really. It's game day one, and as promised, the team sits down to eat lunch together. Their first obstacle is Complexity, who recently buffed up their roster, signing the former Cloud9 White duelist, Jazzy. For our first matchup against Complexity, I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, based on what we've seen, based on how we've played recently, I'd say I'm pretty confident going into it. Complexity is definitely stronger now with Jazzy. It's a really hard bracket this time around but it should be a good test for this, this five, like this roster. I hope the fans understand that like, you know, if I fucking miss some shots today or, you know, I'm going through some shit, but uh, I'm not worried about it too much. I think, uh, I think I'll be good. I mean, I am the good, so. The team was just playing really nervous. Um, we were not playing our game at all. We were letting them do whatever they wanted to. We were not contesting any map control. Even though we were playing so bad, the matches were really close. We knew that we were not all t together. Like we were playing at like, I would say 60%. That match is no exception. We, we were just not playing our full potential and the team knew it. So we were like, okay, well, first map's done, whatever, we'll come back and win the next one. NC, 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 NC. Although the match against Complexity didn't go their way, the players have to jump right into their next game versus Overkill Black, a relatively unknown team in the GC circuit, but a hurdle nonetheless, since it's do or die time. I'm blessed Thank you. Blessed by the Jack King himself. They're the Canadian sensation. Therefore. Bless you, Kayla. And bless my, my little kitty cat. I felt like the overkill matchup was a very even fight. I was fairly confident that we were just gonna 2-0 uh, them and then go on to the next match. I don't know, I feel like the team may not be at 100% or we're like some gods and we suddenly go in like guns blazing. Now they have time to review VODs and prepare for the next match. Tomorrow, their next challenge is against FaZe Clan, including former teammate Panini. Everyone needs to rest tonight, especially KP who hasn't eaten any solid food for three days. Game day two is upon us, and the team seems in good spirits, extra confident about their opportunity to take down FaZe and push themselves that much further into the tournament. This match, like the previous one against Overkill Black, is make or break. Going into the FaZe match, we, we did very light prep. Like I was just talking about general tendencies, nothing too specific. I think the team, it was just really confident against those players in particular. We're moving into the first map now on Pearl with Faze on the defense. The fight towards the front of the site. Block is ticking down on that spike though, but you had to take AP down. They have a Hunter's Fury. It's going to be impossible now. So much utility towards his A site right where Shopify is holding is where Faze is headed. Now dancing and playing inside the smoke once again. He gets shot right away. For all 10 players, it becomes now the fundamentals of the crossfires, and it's all from Parabellion here. Only left, only right, right, nice! Dude, fuck yeah. Good job, Game day three, and after taking down FaZe, Rebellion is now going up against the team that sent them into the lower bracket. Complexity is back, and Rebellion is anxious to prove that the first matchup was just a one-off into our second series of the day, and it's an elimination game to qualify for that final spot in the lower final between Shopify Rebellion and Complexity. The nerves were there again. I have no idea why. We were not doing anything we practiced. People look completely lost. There's a couple rounds that were just like blatant throws, and um, we were just not ourselves again. 
and then we move on to the second half of the map one and then we start looking like ourselves again because we are forced to take map control and we're forced to do things together. I have to come across here. Ten seconds left. There's a nice little first kill by Shibui. Shibui. Second one. Audio looking for a timing, but Shibui, you killing your hands? Gun is out, the flick is missed! You should run. How does that turn back in favor of Shopify? Once people were getting in the hang of it, I had a lot of faith that we were just gonna win the best of three because we were coming back from a 210 deficit. In. Sunder could do it, right? There's that first one. I saw that's the flicks here and there, but that's win. gonna be it. Ending it on the Thrifty, Complexity takes the first map. Then moving on to the second map, Fracture's our bread and butter. It's like always been our best map. We did what we do on Fracture and we just won the map because everybody's confident, everybody's feeling great on the map. Ray's trying to play the angle behind enemy the wall here, the first contact. There's the first one, and the second one comes across. Flurry gets the kill. And Shop for Rebellion oh. still end up to get the defuse. And we will definitely see this third map tiebreaker on Pearl. Going into the event, we felt very comfortable on Pearl the entire time. In practice and scrims, it was all going well. Then going into the event, it felt like we, again, were just overall scared. It started to be problematic overall. There's just a number of issues that happened on that map that led to the loss. Versus one, there's only 10 seconds left. The lockdown is up. Four seconds left, it's over! Detained! Karo with the last Defenders kill! Win. And Complexity write a new page in their history book! They move forward. With the team now eliminated from GC2 and ending up in fourth place, there will be some tough conversations ahead. Rebellion showing is two spots lower than any previous placement in Game Changers. I think the team was really disappointed with themselves because we've never come uh, lower than second in a GC. We had a little bit of a talk after, and we kind of laid out a plan for the next GC. This isn't the end of the season. There's more opportunity to learn, and there's more opportunity to get better going into GC3. The plan is to make sure that we are playing our game and we're confident enough to keep doing what we practice. It's a disappointing ending for Rebellion. While there are a lot of unfortunate circumstances leading up to the result, the team knows they also have work to do before GC3. With two days left in Toronto, before they all fly home, they gather for one final meal to console one another and discuss their common goal, world champs.